DVMs coming at you here, just giving you a tank update. Things are actually looking pretty good. We've encountered on this particular 75 gallon tank uh, at least one snag, and uh, I'll show you that here in a second. Um, at this point in time, the tank and its coral seem to be doing very, very well. Just kind of shooting all that here for you and see if I can show you some of that. Cordia there is splitting, the zinnias are just waving in the breeze, so to speak. Things are looking real good. However, um, we didn't really get to the carbon on time, and the uh, pump kind of jammed up about a week ago. And uh, I've been waiting for the new pump to come. haven't put it in yet. The GFO got a little old that I was using, and I should have probably done something a little different there. And uh, hence, we had a little bit of a phosphate spike. I did check my uh, RODI unit. Filters and membranes are all doing well, which is really good. But unfortunately, that little spike um, gave us a little bit of diatome action and maybe even a little um, uh, action in the uh, dinoflagellates area. So I'll see if I can show you that. Um, if we go back into this back corner back here, see if I can get down there. Get the clownfish there out of the way so we can see it. But it's starting to creep onto the sand bed back there. And we don't really want that. That normally indicates we're having some difficulty on the sand bed with phosphates sticking to the silicates, which is not what we want. A little hard to get the uh, angle right there to get that. But this stuff has just started to show up. It can be quite the nuisance. Um, there's all sorts of different ways of dealing with it. Obviously, we're going to get some new carbon in today and uh, see if we can get this uh, brown algae out of here so to speak uh, that's more of a slang term by the way and uh, see if we can get these guys to disappear over the next week or two um, we're gonna get our pH up a little bit that'll probably help with that uh, we're gonna recheck all the parameters today in the past the nitrates um, and the nitrites were at zero um, the phosphate was at zero um, but now it's at about uh, point zero um, 9 or 0 0.1 depending upon how you want to measure it which is not the best uh, we've got uh, maybe a little bit of overfeeding as of late because the coral have uh, um, been enjoying that from my my kids um, as they put a little more product in than we need to but either way we're gonna get this under control just giving you an update as to how it's doing overall the uh, reef is doing really well the corals doing well but again, we've got a little outbreak in the corner of diatoms, and uh, there's some stringy-like, hair-like structures in there, so there could even be some uh, dino flagellates in there because they're very similar. Um, it's sometimes hard to tell these two creatures apart. But either way, I want to make sure we get rid of them. I'll give you an update here in probably a week as to how it goes. But we want to get that sand bed back to a nice white color. We want to get the... Um, phosphates that are down there that are binding in with the sand and the silicates to go bye-bye. Uh, we want to get the cleaners down there and get them cleaned up and, and get all that taken care of. So this is not the first time I've, I've had a little issue like this. Probably won't be the last, um, but we'll see if we can get it all fixed and uh, back to normal. Appreciate, appreciate you watching this quick update um, and uh, thank you for subscribing and if you uh, certainly like my videos click the like button and we'll, we'll make sure to produce more of them. But again, we'll have an update to this video hopefully in a week or two, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to report that we are winning on the uh, dino and the diatoms uh, outbreak due to an increased phosphate level. Thanks.